Hello everybody and welcome to my latest smart home video which today is all about these little things, smart tags. So if you're currently looking into purchasing your first DEN automation products then you may want to know a little bit more about these because they really do make the smart home smarter. Let's take a closer look. So once you've installed your smart tag on your appliance of choice you can then um, use the smart features uh, if we go into the app, go into the appliances and you can see down the bottom there I've got TV so that's the one we're going to be using as the example so we go on to there and you can see it's currently off but the power reading is reading zero so if we now switch the uh, appliance on. Alexa, switch on the TV. And you'll have heard there the switch just to my left clicking on, which you may have seen in a previous video. Uh, it's showing there that it's on and it's now drawing 7 watts. But that's just in standby mode. If we now switch the telly on, switch the TV on, you will see the wattage change because obviously it's drawing more power so there we are it's up to 30 watts as it's firing up the TV's not actually come on yet it's still firing up I've not actually got my uh, sky set top box on so there's actually there's not actually going to be any programs coming up on the screen but the TV will be on so now we're up to 46 watts and I think that's about as high as it gets 46 watts with the telly actually switched on so that uh, does show you there how much power you are saving um, by not having appliances on uh, even in standby if we now switch the TV off Alexa switch off the TV TV switches off and it drops down to zero watts so that's uh, that's all because of the little smart tag that we've got on the appliance now you can actually see there, you can just see the chip inside the tag where that little tr uh, green triangle, bluey green triangle is in the middle, you can just see the, the chip inside it and that's what it is, that's how the, uh, obviously these have to be used with DEN sockets, it's the DEN socket that recognises these tags uh, the more sockets you have around the house and the more you move appliances around then the, uh, the system will keep a track of where that appliance actually is plugged in and whether it's switched on or not and how much power it's using. So it really does make the smart home smarter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a little demonstration now just to show you how the DEN socket will recognise different appliances that are plugged in. That's currently my TV and that's the one you've just seen me do the uh, little test on showing how much power it's drawing um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these hair straighteners that belong to my daughter not me um, we're going to add a tag and we're going to set it up and then we're going to plug that unplug this plug the straighteners into there and see if the app recognises that something else has been plugged in so that's what we're going to do now so, put the tag on, and when you buy these sockets you do get a little packet of about four tags, so you should have plenty for all your different appliances. Okay, so that's the tag on. So now we need to add an appliance. Um, Add new appliance. Okay, create my own. Unless there's hair straighteners on here. 
Oh, look at that hair straightener. It's obviously a popular one. Add the smart tag, which we've done. Insert plug. So now we're going to unplug the TV from there. Plug in the hair straightener. Like that. Tag found. Hair straightener. Notify me if left on. Now I would normally, this is only a demo, but normally I would uh, set that on. In fact, let's, let's do it anyway. Finish. Right, so that's now. So there's the hair straighteners. I'm just going to put them down there. Now what we're going to do, let's see if this works. Switch it on. We're not going to use Alexa this time because I've not actually added the device in Alexa. Um, so we'll just switch it on here. See there, appliances went to four. And you can see there, hair straighteners are on. It's recognised the tag, it knows it's the hair straighteners. It's on zero watts because they're not, even though the socket's powered on, the straighteners aren't. So we're going to switch those on. Switch the straighteners on because I'm, I'm guessing they're going to draw quite a bit of power. Wow, look at that 225 watts. So you wouldn't want that leaving on for several hours. Drop down. So that's quite uh, quite hefty as they warm up. Obviously, the wattage is coming down because they're up to the temperature. They're obviously set to a certain temperature. These straighteners. So you can see there that it's uh, you know that's something you wouldn't want left on. Um, and of course that will. I think you can set that up so that you can uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, let's go into settings, appliances, hair straighteners. Uh, we will send you a notification if you're if you've left this appliance on for more than so many minutes. If you don't respond to the notification after five minutes, the appliance will automatically turn itself off. Um, I'm guessing you can... Ah, there you go. Scroll a bit further down. Notify me in ten minutes. So let's change that to one minute. Notify me in one minute. So we'll... Leave that going, and we'll uh, see if we get a notification. Oh, your hair straightener has been left on. So, we've just been notified. If we don't do anything about it, um, you've left it. If you don't respond to the notification after five minutes, the appliance will automatically turn itself off. Right. So we're going to leave that for five minutes and see if it switches that socket off. So uh, I'm not going to let you sit here for five minutes. I will uh, come back to you and uh, show you if it switches off. And there you go. We've ignored the notification and the app has automatically switched off the hair straighteners. Avoiding any fires or singeing of carpets so that is really good so that to me is a proper smart product all because of that little tag that you can uh, put onto any appliance must also point out that since I've uh, since I've been using these den automation products I have been contacting them via their support line uh, daily really 
just with questions, uh, a few queries, and they're very quick to respond, very polite, um, they give you good advice and great assistance, so I can definitely recommend the support side of the, uh, of the company. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug the straighteners, let them cool down. We're going to plug, let's just go back to there. I'm going to plug the TV back in. And there you can see it's recognised the tag. Even though it's not switched on, it's recognised the tag. And it's now added that back in the list under the lounge. So, those are your smart tags from Den Automation. It was only a short video today, but I felt it was important to make you aware of these because they are really clever and they do make your smart home a great deal smarter. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them in the box below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.